Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. There's going to be a fire lit across my shins. They had kind of a, uh, they had kind of a gas jet, big gas jet set up with a lot of, with a lot of uh, openings to it, a lot of apertures. And I register my surprise, first it's shock and then it's surprise and then it's fear. Ah, and then I start to scream. That was very good, Lou, very good. You know, and I'm screaming, screaming for a couple of minutes. Very good, Lou, let's do it again. And so I did it again, and I did it again, and I did it again. Uh, I got the feeling after a while that they just wanted to watch me scream, uh, which is cool, you know. I had nothing better to do at the time. Um, and by the time the end, by the time of the end of the shot, uh, my voice was uh, pretty far gone. Uh, but they got the screams that they wanted, evidently. Oh, by the way, um, they um, told me afterwards that they were getting a lot, that the police were, um, I don't know whether the police were on their way, but the police, the local police switchboard was being flooded with 911 calls because they heard somebody screaming terribly in the woods. They wanted people to investigate it. So I think if I would have kept on with it, uh, there would have been cops around pretty soon.